Today we're going to be tying up a variant of the Icelandic Willy Gun. So the body's going to be quite fluorescent, so I'm going to use white, white thread. And then for the rib and the tag, I'm going to use gold. The original had silver, but I think gold looks a lot better. Okay, so I'm just going to add that on underneath. And then at the end of the shank, we're going to put on a few turns. This will create our tag. Okay. Then we secure that out underneath the shank. Bend it back. And then that's our rib as well. Okay, so there's no tail for this slice, so fairly simple one to tie. Um, I'm going to use glow bright number 12, I think it says, fluorescent green. That's going to be the body. You could also use chartreuse, but again, I think the green and gold look really well with these colours. Okay, and just level up the bodies going on up towards the head area. Okay, and then we just start securing that in. Okay, well doing this folks if you're enjoying these videos do hit that like button below if you haven't already done so please subscribe we're doing well now we're nearly on 1800 okay and thanks very much thanks very much for continuing support okay so just gonna secure that in a couple of turns and then trim it off Again, I always use, for these kind of size hooks, and for floss particularly, I do prefer the wire. It's a lot more secure, a lot more durable, and you can make readjustments every now and again, whereas the, the oval is a lot more permanent. The oval does have its place, the oval tinsel, but it's really for the likes of um, dubbed bodies that I use it on now. And I usually stick to the, the more, the, yeah, the, the wire where I can. Okay, so the wing for the body is going to be in two parts. So the underwing is going to be a mixture of yellow and orange bucktail. Okay, which will give good support. Now I'm going to use, this is pre-stacked bucktail. I'll put a wee link in the description of how I go about doing it to save a lot of time. Okay, it's all right, pre-mixed. I'm going to make this go to about the, the end of the hook. No further. Okay, just pinch and loop it. Okay, I'm going to use a wee bit of super glue. I don't want to put on too much force. off the axis. I'm neaten up as I go along. Okay, so before I go any further, I'm actually gonna let's finish this and I'm gonna change the red. I'm just gonna add on some black thread. Bring that up to the bucktail. And then for the overwind, I'm going to use, you could use Arctic Runner, you could use entirely up to yourself. I'm going to use some black fox pelt. Okay, so it's very soft, mobile hair. It'll be well supported with that underwing of bucktail. So I've removed the under fur and I've removed the guard hairs. Okay, so it's just nice and light. And that's gonna go, I'm gonna just twist that to taper it a little bit, but that's gonna go a little bit further than that bucktail wing. And again, pinch and loop. I'll secure that in. Have a look at it and see if you're happy enough with that. Looks good to me. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this. I'm gonna trim off the excess. <laughs> ok, 
Okay. And go back up. And now we're going to add on a throat hackle or a beard hackle, whatever you prefer to call it. I'm going to use blue. What I do is I display the hackles. And then I grab them till I get the amount that I need. Okay. And I'm going to put these on and I'm hoping for these to go towards the rear of the hook, probably just around the barb area. If your hook is big enough, you can keep in the right hand, but if you're using a size 14 or so, you might have to swap over your hands. Okay. Have enough of that there. So. Come off the excess. Okay. Let's check there's a few wee favours here and there. Um and then just start building up your head really. Okay. And all we need to do is just with finish. At the same time building up that head. And that's your willy gun. Icelandic willy gun heroin. So it'd be a good one for, for fast shimmy waters and low water. Hopefully you find that useful folks. As always if you did, hit that like button below and check out the other videos coming up on screen now. Thanks very much.